Afternoon, guys. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. Back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen Headquarters at the Pathfinder School. What we're going to do today, steak and potatoes. We're going to put a little twist on this stuff, so stay with me. All right, so the first piece of this puzzle was to cut ourselves some potato wedges. And that's pretty simple. Just cross-cutting these potatoes to give us a wedge. And we don't need that many. Again, we're only serving for two here. And we're going to have steak to go with it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up some oil in a skillet. we got the old Stargazer cast iron skillet out here. We're going to cook in that today. And we're going to heat this oil up until it's just shimmering. And then we're going to start to cook our potato wedges. Okay, you can see I put this handle muff on here. Picking up that cast iron when it's hot. Stitch Gear Outfitters, Randy, really good guy. He makes this. Works out really, really well. Okay, our grease is about right now. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take these wedges. And we're just gonna set them in there flat on one side, just like this. With one of the wedge sides down. That one's a little big, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Now, we're just gonna cook those bad boys until they release easy from the skillet. So about five minutes per side. Okay, then about five minutes. So we're just gonna look and make sure these things are releasing easy from the bottom of the pan, not stuck to it. And then we're just gonna flip them to the other side. You just walk right through here and flip them over. Just lay down inches on them. Paying no attention to nothing but the food cooking. Just waiting on it. One here is a little shy, the rest. The rest are looking pretty good. salt stack on another layer a little salt okay I got a couple of economy grade ribeyes here and I'm patting them dry with a towel and then I'm going to salt them And once I finish that, I'm going to take my rag and I'm going to wipe the excess oil out of my skillet. And then I'm going to turn the heat back on. I'm going to put it on about a medium heat. Really what I'm watching for now is for that skillet to start smoking a little bit. You might not be able to see that smoke with some of the fan going on here. But I can see it. So I'm sticking these steaks in, and I'm going to give them about one minute, just enough to build up a good crust before I flip them. Then I'm going to go minute to minute, about four times. Okay, what I want is I want these things to cook just long enough that they don't stick to the bottom. You can see that when I pick it up, it's not sticking to the bottom at all. Just enough crust on there, it's not sticking. I'm going to flip them. All right, this will be our third flip. Now on the fourth flip, we're gonna add some stuff here. Okay, on this fourth flip, I'm gonna kind of scoop both of the steaks over to one side. And I'm going to drop a quarter stick of butter in here. Kind of tilt that pan up a little bit, just like this. Get that butter melted in there real good. I'm gonna stick about two tablespoons of lemon juice in there. And a good dose of garlic powder. I'm gonna melt all that together in the bottom of the skillet. And once I get all that melted down, 
bring that dude over and I'm going to start painting these ribeyes with this mixture. Move everything off to one side. Flip them ribeyes for the final time. Come right back in here. Start painting. All right, we're ready to pull these dudes off the fire now. We'll just turn the heat off. Set these bad boys off to one side. Head to the table. All right. This uh, Victorinox folding pairing knife or steak knife is pretty freaking awesome. It's great for camping. I use it quite a bit. Um, we now have these on our website. If you're looking for them at selfrelianceoutfitters.com, we have these in stock now. We haven't had them up until yesterday. So let's take a look at one of these steaks here and see what we got. What we want to do is we want to kind of cut this thing into strips, just like this. And it is a ribeye, so it's going to be tough to cut. We're cutting across the grain here. So that's good. Now we'll cut this other one up. We'll have something licked here. Rizan thinks he needs a piece of this. Bad. It's hot. Man. I don't know. Here, we'll put it on the floor over here. Go over here and get it. Let it cool down for a minute. All right. Now take these fries, we're gonna put them in the bottom of this plate just like this. Get this knife kind of out of our way here. These things are sharp as crap. Put some steak up here on top. Just like that. It's pretty good. Now Whatever we got left is going over the top of this, just like this. Okay, guys, I hate to say it, but I got to be in a little bit of a hurry here because I'm about to run out of battery on my camera. So let's get a let's get a fry out of here. Try one of those first. Yeah, that dude is cooked perfect. You don't get no better than that. For sure. It's some finger food to me. Forks are really unnecessary. Man, that steak is awesome. God, that thing melts in your mouth. All that fat on the rib, I just love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I could eat that all day. Look at those potatoes, man. They're perfect. Man. Oh, yeah. Golly. Woo! This thing is awesome. All right, Zom. Goodbye. Golly. So good. I haven't had a drink of pop yet. I figured it's that lemon and garlic Lemon lime pop like ski would go good. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect tang to that. I love it. Did I say this for two people? I must have meant as many as on. There's only gonna be a whole lot of this left in the end. Guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me for this video today. I just wanted to cook up something for myself. It wasn't really a diehard recipe, just something that I cook for myself once in a while. I really like it. And I just wanted to cook it for lunch today. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for your views, and I thank you for your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks. Thanks.